Hello, people of the interwebs, and welcome back <laughs> to my channel. Um, today in this video, we are going to be styling my sun spider cosplay. Salt, you gotta get it together. We're, we're speed running this shit. Today we're styling my sun spider cosplay. If you'd like to catch me again after this video, you can always subscribe and hit that bell, obviously. Um, now back, now, now into the, into the, into the spot, the spider -man. I'm sorry. First off, I'm gonna start by parting the wig into sections. Um, I already did the bottom section, but if you saw me earlier doing the one, two, three, that's how many wefts I sectioned out to crimp vertically. Crimping vertically is very important uh, because whenever you lay it flat, the crimp marks all kind of fade away. There's not so much consistency with the crimp marks. And then I just continued to do that with the rest of the wig, making sure to separate the uncrimped from the crimped uh, pieces with some clips. And here, oh, I also forgot. Um, once you're done crimping, you're going to want to straighten it directly afterwards and just let it hang. You see that part where I'm pointing at? That is the lace part. At the very top of the wig, there's usually a part that is different from the rest that it's because of the part and the way it parts. So I just took that and sectioned it off into its own thing. And then I took um, thinner but longer strands and divided that up and crimped it the same way. The wig, uh, the, the bangs, you have to be very careful with because you do not want visible crimp marks in the front of the wig. That is where your face is. It is the most interesting. I printed out some reference images uh, and then put on the wig. Look at me. So that it, the bangs sat right on my face. Uh, this is me just parting the wig out so that I can get the bangs isolated and then parting the wig how I wanted it because she has a side part. Um, and then I was cutting away some of the extra pieces so that I could see better and also just heating it a bit to get it out of my eye. I just, I, I wanted it out of my eye. I took a bottom piece and made it into like a false like hairline, but not really in a way. I re-parted it because it didn't look right. And then this is just me again taking those strands and getting them out of my face. This is me shaving them with scissors. And then I'm gonna take the bangs piece by piece and make a layered kind of curly curly effect uh you don't want to just like take a giant chunk and then curl it because then it, it just doesn't work as well the thinner the piece is probably like the thinner the section is the the better you're gonna get results also be careful with your hands it is hot <laughs> it is so hot um I am once again just showing you that you, you heat it up and then you let it set. Whenever you cut, you definitely want to um, be very shaggy with it. You don't want a clean cut line unless it's just like to get a bunch out of your face like I'm doing right now. It, it doesn't matter because all of that hair is going to be chopped up anyways. Um, this is me styling the other side of the bangs by doing the same thing that I did with the first side but um longer because this side is supposed to be longer and then i just took the sides to cover like my actual hair where it sticks out um cutting it in an angled line so that the curls can form better do, 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 do. also be careful you're gonna burn your face if you do this um <laughs> it hurted it me <laughs> This is me just place. Oh, oh, I'm kissing my wig head. That's. <laughs> Why did I leave that in there? <laughs> there I am, just fixing the wig, the bangs. And then I'm gonna spray the bangs, because this is getting off of my head, so that I can style the back of it. Oh, I also heat set that, because I'm using Got to Be Glue, and you do need to. S you need to set it. It's. You know, it's a, it's a glue-based hairspray. And then here I am, I am shaping the back of the wig by cutting it accordingly. I took the top bit where that lace part is and made it its own space. This is me styling this. 
Um, this all comes out, like, I had to pin it up so that I could get the underpiece, which is what I did there. You can, you can see the, the in-between of the wefts. And here I am just curling it a bit. Um, I really should have stuck with this method that I was doing here of just like letting it be wavy and slightly curled instead of full like curly cues because I think it would have given a better effect. Um, this is me just covering that piece of fabric that's on the wig on the side so that it's just it's not as visible. And there I am. This is what I was talking about just like slightly curling it not not big old curly cues which I did later and I kind of regret but it's okay I still like the wig <laughs> it's giving tartaglia it's giving fatui member <laughs> it's giving <laughs> ginger man which I mean kind of corresponds with the way oh, my hands are so shaky they're so sh <laughs> did, you, did you see that stink eye I gave you guys I was like, fuck y'all. Oh, and now I'm onto the other side. I did part the back in three sections that I did individually. Um, and it gradually got better with each one. See, this is me um, cutting it and shaping it. And then once again, just light curls, light curls. Uh, this is where it gets to be non-light curls. Oh my goodness, my alarm keeps going off when I try to film this. Um, and then those are the bigger curly cues as you get more towards the top. Uh, you're gonna want to do loose curly cues, not tight curly cues. I don't know why I did that. Here's me shaping each of the individual, um, like, strands on the top because the top has longer strands than the bottom because of just the way that she's drawn um, and the way that hair works in real life. <laughs> Um, and this is me shaping. I'm gonna show you how I shaped this. I made it into like a triangle. And here's the final product. Don't look at my face. Don't look at my face. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's bare. No, no. Hello, did you enjoy the video? Well, I'm glad you did because you did. You don't really have any other choice. Um, if you would like to see me again because you liked the video so much that you're going to subscribe, you're gonna, you're gonna go down into the description and you're gonna subscribe. You're gonna hit that red button and then you're gonna turn on notifications because you just liked this video so much. Obviously. If you would like, you could comment. You should you should comment your favorite spider person. Mine personally is Charlotte Weber. Obviously. Um and also if you would not like to subscribe, but you would still like to watch other videos, I do post every Wednesday a long form video. And then I also post shorts on Mondays and Fridays. I will see you guys in the next video.